people. This is Pretty Girl Love Trap content. And I come to you today because we got some things to discuss, okay? I'm a little frustrated because you know what? The pike is not in good hands right now. And I'm a little frustrated. I mean, the math ain't mathing everywhere we look is something going on that note that notably like just it don't sit well with me, okay? So I come to you to discuss these issues and yeah, drop down in the comments and please let me know your thoughts. Like, come on, we at the pink, we need all the comments, questions, concerns, suggestions. Like, let a sister know, okay? Because your girl Haley has made multiple decisions, okay? Like, on one hand, of course, there would be no pink without her, or at least Uncle Clifford probably won't have any stake of the pink at all. But at the same time, she's not doing what she needs to do as a business owner, okay? Haley slash Autumn Knight slash Lakeisha Savage <laughs> is not acting upon her financial instincts, if you will, okay? We learned last season that she was a corporate accountant, okay? So your girl is good with the numbers. We've seen her give Andre great recommendations about how to, you know, hide his money and make good investments. Like we saw her in Mercedes doing her thug thizzle, you know, transferring the 9,000 each time because you know, if you transfer more than $10,000 across bank accounts, the IRS is alerted, okay? So your girl knows her way around the financials, okay? So tell me why, and this is from last season, the finale. Your girl showed up all cute and whatnot at the uh, auction or what have you. And yeah, Andre's last bid was $215,000, okay? She took it upon herself to <laughs> bid all of her ducats, okay? She jumped from 215000 which really her bitch, I would have been two fifteen and $5, okay? Because every dollar is important, okay? But she took it upon herself to bid and jump $250,000, okay? That is what, a $35,000 difference, okay? So you balling over there to where you can just prove a point and look cute in your white suit to be giving up 35 extra thousand dollars come on now and you see what happened fast forward five months six months and yeah we end up in Nini, okay the panorama has occurred okay we are masked up we can't perform inside we have to have this car wash and yeah look where we at you know how much a 30 $5,000 could have got you in a panini, a panorama, a pandemic. But no, you, you thought it was cute throwing that extra money, okay? And furthermore, now I feel like this car wash was Uncle Clifford's idea. So kudos to him, okay? But yeah, we have this car wash now. Very innovative. I, I believe I saw maybe a few years ago that a strip club actually did this. They, um... I remember seeing pictures. I don't remember where the strip club was. It was maybe Houston or Memphis. I can't recall. But I do remember seeing, you know, a strip club reinventing themselves as a car wash. So kudos to that idea. Okay, I'm not mad. That could actually still work, okay? But we have this car wash and we have three options, okay? We have the hand drop, that's 30. We have uh, the detailing, what is 50, and the Mercedes experience, okay? That's a hundred of them bands, okay? So, of course, you go up to the car wash, figure out which options you have, figure out how much can you spare based on your funds, okay? Because, yeah, people got to, you know, get their rocks off, if you will. So, you got to pay for certain things, okay? Or if you're on a budget, going over there to M I. Crickletic, crickletic, I, crickletic, crickletic, I, hump back, hump back, I go to her page. I don't know, just IG, OnlyFans. Lord knows how she's making her money, her website. You know, she's selling flat tummy tea. Go to her for free and save some more money, okay? But if you got a little coin, if you got your little stimulus, you could go over and get your Mercedes experience, okay? So we saw the young man get his experience, okay? And mind you, 
she was the finale of that experience, okay? So before Mercedes came on stage, we saw 511 other dances, okay? All right. So he paid $100 to get his car washed. Saw Mercedes, you know, pop, lock, and drop it, okay, on a bump shoulder. And then, and you know, mind you, there were some other women that was doing the acrobatics. They were silhouetting, and they was, you know, doing, you know, scrub down, okay? And then Uncle Clifford handed this man some complimentary wings and a whole roll of disinfectant wipes, okay? So... And y'all know those wipes was buku money back then. Wings are on the rise, okay? I just bought a pack of wingettes, maybe eight wings. It ran your girl about $8, okay? I mean, that's not horrible, but it used to be $5. It was just $5 and some change maybe three weeks ago. What's going on here, okay? So, yeah, I don't know if we still dealing with the quote-unquote wing shortage that we had. But yeah, I'm I'm over it, okay? So Clifford gave this man a 10 piece of wings, okay? So this was included in $100. So in this $100 experience, we got to break it off and divide it amongst all these dancers, okay? And then we have water because you're spending money on water. Yeah, have soap. We spending money on the soap, okay? We got lights and decoration. Y'all spending money on that. And yeah, I'm sure we got, you know, some bills at the paint that we still got to be, you know, accosted for. We got light, you know, we got water. We got all types of things we got to worry about, okay? And then Autumn needs her cut. Clifford needs his cut. We got to pay Big L, okay? Big L over there sleeping with the wings. And then the wings, okay? We ain't just got wings, okay? We have electricity we're using, okay? We have flavors, like, is it lemon pepper? Is it, you know, just naked? Is it buffalo? Like, that costs money, okay? We got oil. You know, oil ain't cheap now. Oil is not cheap. So we spending all this money. All this money. But what? We already cutting ourselves short with the hundred dollar experience, okay? Like Mercedes was throwing her thug this, all right. And so we also have to think about, oh boy, mm, mm, mm. sorry, y'all, I need a moment. Let me let me get a drink of my Kool Aid because we in the pink, okay? All right. So y'all. We got to divide this hundred up, okay? So Lord knows how many experiences we do in a day, okay? How many we do in a week, in a month. I'm not sure, but your girl Mercedes looking at her account. She's in a negative balance, okay? She paying rent on her house, well, her mortgage, and she got the dance studio that Autumn helped her with, okay? So I'm like, hmm, hmm, I'm pop locking and dropping it. Pop locking and dropping it. I'm the bottom B of this place, and I'm over here in a negative. Nah, bruh. Okay, so we also have this percentage breakdown with Uncle Cliff. Okay, he has 15% of the pike. Okay, and that's Haley's, you know, remaining balance. Her she got that whole 85. Okay, so now this is ain't this ain't this is a good deal, but it ain't a good deal, okay? Because off principle, me, I probably would have gave Cliff maybe thirty percent ish, you know, maybe gave him an opportunity to buy out, you know, a bigger percentage later on, depending on how business goes. But yeah, Haley, again, you was a corporate accountant, and then you find yourself five months, six months into the business, asking. Uncle Clifford, how much of the 250k that is remaining? And you shocked to find out that it's only 25k remaining. Now you know Clifford. This man was on the bad checklist at the check cash and slash loan place. He had his picture up there, like he's America's most wanted. Okay, he over there bag borrowing, stealing. Okay, you girls over there. always in debt okay and it's hereditary grandma wasn't doing much and doing good with the money either okay like for real Haley, you're a corporate accountant why 
are you not on top of the books? Why are you not handling the books? Because at the end of the day, your 85% is way more than his 15%. What is going on here? The math ain't math, okay? So let's break down this 250K, okay? Well, I'm still mad because she really amped up an extra 35K at the auction. I'm pissed, okay? But anywho, we got... 250k okay so he he owed 55k okay so that brings us what $195,000 okay so there's $25,000 left okay so that means we have $170,000 remaining okay and Uncle Cliff talking about he was giving the girls money so they didn't have to do extra strange things for the change and whatnot I'm like okay I, I get that I don't know how many girls you got on payroll but yeah that seemed like a lot of money, okay? And then you're helping the girls out. You're talking about you had to do renovations in the uh paradise room because, you know, they done caught a body. Okay, I got you. I'm going to get it. I'm going to give you like 15K, okay? Because your boy Big L said the, the, the website and what have you had a special, okay? And then, okay, yeah, so carrot a one. So, so I'm going to say he spent like 50 bands on the girls in five months. So let's say 50 bands, renovations, 20, so 70. So yeah, I'm a, we, let's get down to the 100K. So we should have at least 100K. So where the other 75K go, bruh? Where did it go? Let me, let me help y'all out, okay? Because your girl rolled up to the repast with her, you know, quest for chitlins and a Birkin. The girl had a Birkin on her arm. Clifford. Why you need a Birkin? Birkins can run anywhere between, it's at least 10K up from my understanding, okay? So a good little Gucci, little 2000 Gucci couldn't help. A wide cell bag, that's about two, three. Louis Vuitton, that can be anywhere from one to you know, going upward, uh, you got to go straight to the Birkin, okay? You, you really trying to be on your bad bitch-ish, okay? And then the outfits, the outfits running the running the tab up, okay? Now, it was another way at the car wash, Clifford over there in this little getup. You in this whole little getup, that could have cost, what, maybe a 1K? I understand it's probably a tax write-off, but why? You could have been on a loudspeaker in the back somewhere where you're not being seen or shown. You ain't had to put all that getup on. Come on, Clifford. What you doing, bruh? What you doing? Ain't that much lace fronts and math in the world, okay? I am upset at Clifford because he shouldn't have been in the situation in the first place. I'm upset with Haley because you wasted money. And not only you wasted money at the auction, you go ahead and not know what's going on with your business. Why are you waiting in, until 25K is remaining? to ask about these funds, okay? And then y'all applying for all these PPP loans, these relief loans, y'all getting denied. I mean, y'all strip club. I don't know how many strip clubs was getting approvals. Y'all let a sister know if y'all know of anything. Because at the end of the day, it could be considered, it could very much well be considered an essential business, okay? Because the wings alone, finger looking good, y'all. And then Mercedes. Girl, let me holler at you real quick. Um, you've been a vet in this game, okay? You've been scripting for about seven years, all right, at least. And uh, I'm gonna need you to be a little more innovative. Now, I understand you got morals. You said that plenty of times, season one. You have morals. You're not gonna do certain little things. I get it. Why are you not taking note from Mercedes? Okay, she over there. She is over there making the coin. I'm not sure how much coin because, you know, they're still in that house. But I understand you may not want to move. It's a panoramic. But your girl Mercedes, I mean, she, not Mercedes, Mississippi got a Chanel bag. If y'all keep that, she went to the store, the STO, in the Chanel bag, okay? So it looks like she's low-key taking care of and taking care of herself because, you know, Derek ain't doing that job. But <laughs> my point is, I'm going to need you to be more innovative, Mercedes, okay? If you don't want to go the stripper route, you can go ahead and teach some classes online, okay? Like you talking about your girls, oh, we got to be in person to be able to, you know, be in practice. You could, 
go ahead have some workout classes have some script book classes you can do all types of things with the wonderful world of zoom or instagram like you could have been running your money up if you would have been a little more innovative you're smart mercedes like what is going on boo boo what is going on then autumn is your roommate so y'all splitting the bills in half and i hope you charging her rent okay because it's a far cry from that little place she was staying at before i'm just saying oh lord y'all 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 please drop down in the comments i'm sorry this turned into a little rant but yeah let me know your thoughts on the whole situation with the pink and the money and the you know just how everybody's operating out. Do I need to go over there? Do I need to go over there and help them with the books and figure it out? And let's pray when the paint open up next week that we can start getting more funds in because, yeah, it ain't going to be looking good. I got a feeling your girl auto may be, <laughs> may be selling the paint or doing something a little strange but extra little change when it comes to this paint and Andre, okay? But, yeah, y'all, that is all, okay? I'll probably come back to you later on with some more-ish because, yeah. I love me some P-Valley, but they've been, you know, teeing me off, okay, with the, with the irresponsibility. Is that a word? I don't know, but it's going to be a word today, y'all. <laughs> Talk to y'all later. Smooches. Bye-bye.